Representative Greiner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon, Secretary. Good afternoon. I uh, going to switch gears a little bit. We're going to go back to a topic that was discussed pretty heavily last year, and it's Act 127 of 2012, which established the Public Works Employee Verification Act. And this act, of course, is enforced by you, by DGS, and requires contractors and subcontractors on public works projects to verify new employee eligibility for employment using the E-Verify. And as I said, I do remember this last year, mm -hmm. uh, you had shared that there were some challenges uh, related to the administration enforcement of this, this act. And I just wanted to follow up with a series of uh, several questions. We, can you please share with us an update on how the provisions of Act 127 are being administered and, and enforced? That's question number one. Sure. Um, so uh, uh, in the current fiscal year, as of January 26th, uh, the department had completed 229 audits uh, pursuant to the act. Uh, we had issued 28 civil penalties with a total value of $7,000. Uh, 19 civil penalties have been collected with a total value of $4,750. Um, six audits were performed of state agency controlled projects. Um, Those all go up to this number. Right. Yep. Um, they break down as follows. So six were DGS controlled projects, 71 were state agency that were not DGS controlled projects, um, and then 104 were local government, 104 were local government, 54 were school district, and 27 were higher ed. Yeah, let me uh, let me just follow up because I know we have limited time. Yes. <clears throat> because of the number, the do you really feel that? Are you confident with the number of compliant audits, compliance audits we're having, or do you think we should have more? I mean, I, I can't, I don't know whether that's enough or not enough. I don't know whether we're, we're that's 5% or what number that might be of the total projects. So um, we, we um, unfortunately, the Department of General Services doesn't have jurisdiction over all construction in the Commonwealth. Uh, so. I'm not in a position where I could tell you what the percentage of the total uh, projects you know, we're actually capturing via audit. What I can share with you is that in the last year, we've more than doubled our the rate at which we're performing the audits, um, uh, simply by virtue of, again, applying some lean principles and moving the administration of the project out of the public works deputate and into procurement. That's been a big boon for, for it. But I would only point out that the, I think the bigger challenge is, um, is that the department does not have enforcement authority to be able to walk onto a site out that isn't one of our own projects and ensure that, that it's being complied with. So this is, this is effectively a paper audit process, um, which, you know, in my view, you know, could be defeated pretty, you know, fairly easily. Do you have the, do you have an idea, I mean, you might not know that, and then what are the annual costs associated with enforcing this? Or what are the costs that we, you know, that the legislature, the taxpayers have to incur to do this? Yeah, the, 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 right now this, this represents, basically it's, it's less than one full-time person's effort um, to, to perform these audits on an annual basis. Wow. So we have one person doing it on a part-time basis. Okay. Um, Sounds like maybe more needs to be done. What of any changes to this act would you recommend? I mean, if the legislature has an opportunity to change the act or amend it, can you let me know what you think needs to be done or what we need to change? I, I, I my sense of it is that if if you would if you wish for the E-Verify program to become a more effective deterrent or a more effective uh, mechanism through which you might actually discover the presence of undocumented uh, personnel working on our, on public construction projects, um, then I, I would either um, I would either have the program reside within an agency that has the authority already to walk onto those sites and perform uh, and perform on-site audits, um, or I would grant DGS the authority and sufficient funding to do it. I appreciate the uh, appreciate the insight. I know it's a, it's a big issue today for for employers, and um, like I said, I thought we should follow up because I know there was a discussion with it last year. So thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thanks, Mr. Chairman.